Welcome to ProStitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Have you ever wanted to crop out around, for example, a piece of applique in an edge-to-edge -edge design? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's walk through those steps. First of all, let's take a look at the screen. On the screen, I have my edge-to-edge -edge design set up. And now I need to set up an area around my applique piece here. You can see that it's just a, um, it's just a fusible down here, my edges aren't finished, which is just fine. So the first thing I need to do is clear the current area that I have. So we'll select the area tab and touch clear to remove that area. Now it's really important to remember to baseline your design before you do this. If you have forgotten to baseline your design, just tap your undo, touch baseline, and then you can go ahead and clear that area again. So now I need to set up a new area. So looking here at the quilt, I will just use my multi-point and go ahead and set up an area right around my little hexagon shaped piece that I have here. And I've dropped, get this last point on there. All right, on the screen, you can see that I've got my area set up. Let's go ahead and crop this design now. Let's select the Modify tab, Crop on the ribbon, and then we'll choose Inside. And this is where you can decide whether you want to close your edges or not. Depending on how much overstitching you want around the edge of your design, you may choose to close your edges or not. Um, this is a design that's not too complicated but I think I am going to leave my edges open this time. I will baseline my design, and then I need to select the row that I want to quilt. So let's go to the Pro Stitcher tab, select New Start and End on the ribbon, and in the bottom of the Start column, I'll jump down to the beginning of the second row so that I will just stitch out the row that has the cropped design in it. Now, before I start stitching, if you do want to do another, you need to crop another design, you just follow those exact same steps again. You'll go to your area, you'll clear your area, and then you'll go ahead and set up a new area, baselining, and then you're ready to stitch the next one. So just remember that if you're going to do multiple areas. I'll tap undo so you can see my area, and we'll stitch this out. And that's how you crop an area inside an edge-to-edge -edge design.